Hi guys, um, Shefki here. So I'm going to be introducing this new project that I've been working on uh, with Reillusion over the past few weeks. For those that have seen my work, you know that I work a lot with Texturing XYZ maps. But this time, Reillusion has allowed me to use these maps in a real-time workflow using their software, Character Creator and SkinGen. So this project for me is a, is a challenge and it, it aims for me to use these tools to create a real-time animated digital human. And I'll be documenting my trials and tribulations over the past few weeks. I'll be showing how I maneuvered between ZBrush and Character Creator to create a sculpt of the actor Ed Harris. How I used uh, Rap3, Mari and Texture XYZ's multi-channel maps to create a collection of useful skin texture maps. As well as how I generated hair cards and shaded them in Character Creator. Finally, uh, how I used SkinGen to finalize the look of the character's skin. Uh, the final result would then be animated and developed in Unreal uh, to demonstrate how through this workflow you can go about creating a photorealistic animated digital human. The first thing that I did was decide on a subject. So for this project, I chose Ed Harris, notably because he has an interesting uh, and unique face, um, a lot of uh, defining sort of wrinkles and thought it would pose a new challenge for me. So here are the references that I collected for the project. Of course, it goes without saying how important it is before any project, whether it's a likeness or just a fictional character, to collect as many references as possible um, to kind of guide you through the, the workflow from sculpting all the way through to look diving and lighting. Texturing XYZ offers a vast array of multi-channel maps, so it's not easy to decide on one. But in terms of how you go about deciding this, I think it's just best to look um, at each one and see the passes that the website presents to you, so the displacement and the diffuse. Uh, even though Ed is probably around in his 60s, this map just has a lot of wrinkled detail. So I felt like it would be a pretty perfect fit. If we go to content, uh, up into the project here, our avatar base, the character creator has a new collection of base meshes here. So you'll see it says um, character creator three plus. So we wanna use one of these. If you just double click on any of these, Let's choose this one, press replace all. First of all, we can select the model here. We can go to smooth mesh and smooth it. You can choose the number of subdivisions. So we can do two. I think the higher you go, obviously the performance is gonna slow down. So um, I suggest two as a maximum. Obviously it depends on your specs of your computer, but you won't really notice much difference between two and three anyway. If we jump over here to the materials, uh, we can then select the head up here. We can see the materials used, uh, sorry, the textures used for the head here. If we scroll all the way down, we can then change the subsurface radius. So if you bring it to zero, no subsurface, you can bring it up to one like this, sorry, up to three. You have lots of other options here, roughness um, down here, and you can go into advanced. You can change the roughness of particular regions of the face. So let's do the, um, the cheeks like this. If you want to change the look of the eyes, uh, you can do that too. If you select cornea, scroll down, you can brighten the sclera, or you can um, do stuff to the iris or the subsurface of the eyes too. Change the pupil scale. You can change the uh, color of the iris, the brightness of it. And you can add in your own texture maps, of course, if you just double click, you can add in your own texture maps. Um, and the same goes for everything here in terms of the teeth, uh, tongue, nails, uh, and the entire body. And of course, you can add in your own textures for the head, which is what we'll be doing later when we uh, create our own character. If we jump over to the morphs here, this is something we'll be doing in the next video, but you can use these sliders to um, change the face. So uh, if I maybe move this over, you can see here, we can totally change different parts of the face and the size and the scales and the... Um, rotation so it's a really good way to build a, a nice base for your character and then export this base mesh out and begin sculpting on it all right so the next thing i'll show is about lighting so if we go up here to lighting in the content tab we can uh, choose from a bunch of presets so if you just double click like this Let's say we pick one we like Let's say we like this one here we can go to scene in the lights, we can show the lights. So these are directional here and these are spotlights. If you go to create light, you could choose from uh, any of these three. So if you have the light selected, you can then rotate. So then you can rotate the light around. 
and create a specific uh, light rig for your character as well. Okay, and then if we hide these again, we can still select them, go to the attributes here. We can change the uh, attributes of the light here so we can make it brighter. We can change the resolution of the unique shadows here. So maybe I'll do one that's a bit more obvious. Let's do the key here. Unique shadows are already set to 4K. If I change it to 512, you can see how the resolution of the shadows uh, drops down. You could use darkness to darken any of the other lights. Uh, change the length of the light. You can see in the eye reflection there. Soft radius will soften the light so it's not as harsh. It will also soften the shadows and the spec. So I'll move on to skin gen now. So um, skin gen is a dynamic texture editing system in which uh, the artist can drag and drop any preset from a vast library of skin normals, skin coloration like freckles, sunburn, capillaries and veins, and even presets such as makeup, tattoos and blood. The editor is entirely real time and interactive and you can create a complex layering network similar to something like Photoshop with the option to set the blending mode as well as setting the resolution of the maps. We can then click activate editor. Okay, so once that's done, we can jump over to skin. All right, and then we have a bunch of uh, layers that have been presented to us here already. If I just remove these for a second. In the content, under the skin, we have a bunch of our skin gen presets here. So say we want to start with, um, let's do some freckles. We can drag in the freckles here and it will add the new layer. Like this, you can select the layer, you can reduce the intensity of the layer or increase it. And then you have other options to change the way the freckles look. If we go to something maybe a bit more exciting, go to acquired, we can add on tattoos and scars like this, even dirt, liquid, I chuck this on like this. If you select the layer, then you can um, reduce it you can also change lots of individual settings with the way the blood spatters like this. And the biggest thing I'll say is when you watch the videos that are presented, you know, this is something that I spent um, a few weeks on, uh, experimenting with character create, which I've uh, never used before. Um, and also a real time workflow, which is something I've never really um, attempted before either. Spend the time to uh, use some of the techniques that I've presented and experiment with those and try your own. So I hope that the videos do help and they can get you started making your own characters. Yeah, enjoy.